Hello there. I'm Paul from Tarsus. You might remember me as Saint Paul, one of the greatest evangelists of all time. <laughs> or so they say. <laughs> Even though I lived 2,000 years ago, there's still a lot I can teach you about sharing the faith. And I can tell you in three simple points. The first, we're all called to share the faith. We're all called to share the faith. Like I wrote to the people in Rome. How can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? The main way the faith is spread is through people giving witness to it. Sharing the faith is not only for people who are smart enough to explain it all. It's the duty of all Christians. Here's the next point. Don't be afraid. Rely on the Holy Spirit. Jesus told the apostles, do not worry about how or what your defense should be about or what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you are to say. Sharing the faith is not about winning an argument. It's about relying on the power of the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit who touches a person's heart, not you. So don't be afraid. Let God do the work. And finally, live the faith then explain why you do. Live the faith, then explain why you do. My good friend Peter wrote something very smart in one of his letters. But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, and always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for the reason for your hope. What he meant was, live your faith so boldly that people will be curious and eventually ask why you're so different. Remember, you don't have to have studied theology in order to share the faith. You just need to live out what you believe and not be afraid to share it. Of course, I should give you fair warning. Sharing the faith will not always make you popular. It doesn't mean you'll have to be beheaded like I was, but laughed at, left out, made to feel like there's something wrong with you because of what you believe. Don't be afraid. Millions of holy men and women have faced all kinds of persecution because of what they believe. They did it because they knew the truth, and they knew they had to share it with others. They did it out of a love for God, and a love of those with whom they shared their faith. The message of God's love is too great for us to keep to ourselves.